Hello ladies, I hope everyone's been having a great fall semester. I only have two minutes to talk, so I'm gonna make this as quick as possible. On paper, you've been able to see the things that I've done. However, there is one thing you cannot see that I wanted to share with you before you vote on final slate. This past year, I was really bummed because I was not able to be at fall retreat, but um, I was really looking forward to YASA. Since I couldn't share it with you during the fall, I am going to share with you my story, very brief version. My response when someone said, why ASA? I was like, why not? Why not? Why wouldn't I want to join a sorority with women in poison purpose? To be able to contribute to the greater community of a sorority that has an incredible philanthropy. Why wouldn't I want to be a sister in an organization with a strong campus presence that strives to promote its values Eight values each and every day. A deep sisterhood, an amazing house, wonderful people, a diverse set of campus leaders. I mean, all just makes sense. Therefore, why wouldn't I want to bring my passion for this organization, my love for sisterhood, my willingness to promote the betterment of ASA to the president's position of Theta Gamma? But real talk. Not only do I work to achieve the knowledge and skills necessary to do the job, but I put my soul into the work that I do. I strive to not only make sure that the expectations are met, set by myself, my community, and the organization, but that I exceed them by flying colors. So ladies, if I have the privilege to step in as your president for this coming year, I not only want to make the previous Abigail, the you know past Abigail say, why not, to the question of why ASA, but I want to make that a why the heck not. My goal is to strive always to promote the betterment of ASA all of its goals. But ladies, thank you so much for your time and I look forward to seeing each and every one of you when I return from abroad. Sending out the love, bye!